great shows from the 70s. They gotta like darken up the studio when he comes up. <laughs> Nerds, it's a cool table. Uh, episode 44 and our third time here at Sideshow Collectibles. How's it going, guys? We're back. It's good. Third time always feels like the first time because yeah. it's like the, the set. Like yeah. you just can't not stare at all the good shit that's always there. There's always new toys every time. Yeah, yeah. seriously. <laughs> it switches up. Um, you can you notice that we have one person missing, but it's okay. He couldn't make it today. Uh, but shout out to Yusef. Thanks for uh, having us all three here. <laughs> um, so today is going to be a very interesting one. Uh, it's uh, it's all Joker, as you can notice. Uh, it's a whole all Joker topic. Uh, but uh, we wanted to get into a bit of uh, news bites before we got into the the meat of the show. Um, but let's kick it off with like the big thing that happened last night, which was the Star Wars trailer. Yeah, um, I'm not ready for three PO to die. <laughs> is that what you guys think is happening? I think so too, dude. What so. would he say? Like, this is, I, I think see uh, my friends for the last time. I don't think that's what's happening. What do you think? His AI is going to be like uploaded to a ship? <laughs> that's no, a, no. That, they set it up with Solo that that, that robots can do that. That I, they can upload to a ship. So. What do you so, think? so we're just starting yeah, yeah. off from go ahead. All yeah, right, yeah. So we're just going into what we think that. Yeah, yeah. let's do All that. Right. Um, I think that so in the last trailer, his eyes went red. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's. It, I know it seemed like real heartfelt, but I think that's right before he like turns. Like something's gonna happen where he like does something, his eyes go red, and he's gonna like whatever they're trying to do there. It's gonna mess up because he there's some type of glitch in him, but I don't think. He's dying. I think they're gonna fix him and all that. I have. I don't a, think he's. Dying. I hope so. I have a theory that like they need to, like he, he he needs to read something. He needs to communicate with some kind of artifact or technology. And the only reason, the only way that he can do that is if they erase his memory and like. So he's gonna get his erased, his memory erased again. Yeah, that's what oh. I. That's that's the theory that I have. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Just that's like why. don't. Kill off I don't 3PO, think that, I don't man, think they're like, killing off three PO. I think that that's like right before because he had the cords in, and I think that's right before he like the, his eyes go red. He's yeah. like, oh, I'm gonna see it, yeah. you for the last time because I'm gonna kill you, and his yeah. eyes go red. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Um, <laughs> I love that. That's what we jumped uh, jumped into because I think that was the most significant. Because at that point, like I was watching the trailer, and then when he says like, "This is one last look at my friends," like, yeah, man, I started getting all emotional. Yeah, I was like, no, <laughs> yeah, like it's not even time to sit in the theater. But like, I was already getting misty. I was like, yeah. come on, man, like, yeah. Every, but then you you know it's the end of the saga, so like they're really they're really selling things, it with that. They're all really, things must end, you know. Yeah, they're really pushing it. it was that a good it's, trailer. I yeah. Like yeah. Also, did you guys? I don't know if you guys noticed because you probably didn't watch the trailer as much as I did. Nor did it matter. No, I, I, I did a bunch of times. Um, <laughs> when Ray. Ray has a Sith dagger when she's with Kylo. I noticed she had like a, a that's dagger. A, that's in her a hand. Sith dagger. It's not like one of those little like mini like that's kind of thing that uh, what's her name when Rose she's had with Kylo. What part when they're on top? Right, of the... right at the end when, when they're they, like when they fighting break together. Open the, the Darth Vader. It's like they're fighting together. Thing. But you know what I did notice in that uh, Kylo had nothing in his hand. Maybe he gave her the Sith. He dagger. didn't have the his lightsaber. He had nothing in his hand. Huh. <laughs> so, yeah. so do you think they're? Do you think they're? Te- they're this is when we see them team up. This is not I think a fight so. I think I think it might. They, I'm pretty sure they start off fighting, but I think they they, they are fighting on that. Yeah, the show. I think they're gonna they're gonna start off fighting, but something's gonna happen. I I think Kylo's gonna die in this movie. You think he's dying? Yeah, I think he's gonna. I think it's gonna be the po- everything is poetry thing, yeah. and he's gonna go good and die. And Here's why I don't think he's dying. Because y'all know I uh, go to theme parks more than anybody. Yeah. Um, that Rise of the Resistance ride is due out in like January. January. And yeah. he's like a pretty the main focal character. point of yeah. it. So, I mean, I guess like you can use the Indiana Jones thing and say like, oh, it was a legendary character in history. Mm-hmm. But I'm not sure that Disney would want to like off him yet because he's in the ride but that's my only reasoning so you know you know i just don't know about jj abrams he he can throw a monkey wrench at us so i think it would have complete personally i think that just completes kylo kylo's arc kind of it's like okay, it's either he, well i feel like it's tormented with i'm supposed to with rage and that yeah. and, and i think it's either die or go to the light side. exactly they've been teasing yeah. the light side thing a lot. Yeah. You know? Look, man, when he killed Han Solo, I wanted him to die on the spot, so this is fine. Chewbacca, but wouldn't, wouldn't that be, Chewbacca wanted to kill him on the spot. Him, uh, if he goes to the light and then sacrifices himself for good, it's like him going well, to the light. Well, Darth Vader did that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same with poetry. Yeah. Everything is poetry. True. Yeah. <laughs> it rhymes. It rhymes. <laughs> exactly. Um, so. 
I don't know. There was there was a lot. There was a lot to take in that trailer. Like one of the big things that stood out was that shot of all the ships mm-hmm. in in that scene. And there were some people online. I'm not a big. I, I don't watch Rebels, mm-hmm. but there was a lot of people that pointed out that one of the ships from Rebels is in that like is big the main s- ship. Yeah, the main ship, okay. the Ghost or yeah, something. Yeah. 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 Okay. So w- people were theorizing that this is going to be sort of like the end game. Yeah. Ver, like Star Wars version of Endgame, where like all these like bounty hunters and heroes from the past mm-hmm. come in and try to like save the day. Maybe uh, um, oh my gosh, uh, who? Boba Fett? No, oh. no, no. Mandalorian? No, no, no. no. Um, oh my god. From Clone Wars? Ashoka? Ahsoka? Who was that for Halloween? Oh, Lando. Uh, Lando, thank you, guys. Lando's in it. Yeah. Lando's no, no, it. but I'm saying maybe he brings all of those like. Oh, oh okay. yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I would think so. Yeah. He brings all the the bounties and stuff. I, they have to make this like a bit like this is the end yeah, of the Skywalker. Yeah. They're really. I, I want them to like everything we've seen in all the different forms of media. I want at least a, you know an appearance of a character. Mm-hmm. Like I would love to see Ahsoka from Clone Wars. Okay. The main girl, yeah, yeah. The, the one that was Anakin's apprentice. Mm-hmm, She'd be, it'd be great to see her. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're excited. Yeah. I mean, of course, we. I think we got a slight glimpse of the Emperor at the end. Yeah, we saw his uh, throne room. Yeah. Well, not only that, but we saw like the side of the him. The side of yeah. him. Yeah. So he's not a ghost. He's alive. He's not a ghost. And at like at least from what we see. Some yeah. type of Professor X type chair. Yeah. Maybe he's Plagueis. <laughs> Maybe he Game was just Thrones. doing that the whole time, talking in third person. Maybe he is. Yeah. Maybe. That could be something. What do we think? I have a theory. What okay. do we think Ray's parentage is? Because of course we're going to oh, find I that. I, out. I think I think we're sticking to what we learned in the Last Jedi. I don't think she has parents. I think she's a clone. Okay. Oh. I think she's a clone. What, what about you, Jason? Yeah, I really no. I really didn't. I really haven't given that much thought. I've just I've kind of just want to go in fresh with Ray's parentage. Like, Can, do yeah. We, do we, we want mine or? Go ahead. I think she's a descendant of the Emperor now. In yeah. some way, yeah, yeah. Like, I th- I think it, going back to the dark Plagueis thing, you know how he could cheat death and create life and all that. I think he somehow did that, and Ray is somehow related to the. And we're gonna find out she's somehow related to the emperor. Well, to go off of that, that's why I, th- I think she's a clone of the emperor. Okay, I feel like the emperor is the type of person. I mean, he was the one who pretty much made the Clone Wars happen Mm -hmm. because he was playing both sides. I feel like he's a guy who had a contingency plan for everything. Mm -hmm. And I think one of his contingency plans was to have, because clones are such a big part of that universe, Mm -hmm. I feel like he had a collection of clones. And this was the one clone that That got away or something. That survived or something. And she was the last surviving clone. And they kind of like, they were like, we can't let her, they left her in a, in a desert planet. You mm-hmm. know, because they didn't. You know, she can't get too powerful, kind of thing. So I think she's she's a clone of the Emperor somehow. I don't know how they're gonna explain that, but I feel like that would links to what your your theory a little bit. Right. Yeah. Because <coughs> how else do you explain the the whole mirror sequence from the Last Jedi? You know, remember when she's in that she yeah, goes into that the, tunnel and, and you see like keeps going. Right. Yeah. yeah. Could be. I'm going in fresh. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna be surprised. It's our job, man. This is yeah. what we're supposed to this do. Supposed to do. <laughs> I don't, yeah, this is, still, you still part of you just wants to be a fan. And Star Wars is like <laughs> huge to me. So. Well, that's, that's the funny thing. Like we're theorizing everything. We still don't know what the hell. Yeah, happened. we don't. We have no. Yeah, like that's what I love about it. It's just like they they showed amazing shots, amazing sequences, and we're still like, well, this could probably happen, but we have no idea. Yeah, you know. So I'm excited. Yeah, it comes out right before my birthday. Right? Yeah. Star Wars birthdays are the best. Did you guys get tickets already? No. I, I know you did. I did. I panicked. <laughs> I got mine for two in the morning I'm on a Friday. <laughs> I have a feeling I'll appear at the premiere. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sure I'll just. I mean, we'll see it. it yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, well, yeah, we're excited for that. Um, should we move on to the next uh, little bit? Uh, quick re- reactions to Watchmen. What'd you guys think? Jarring. After the uh, first episode. Yeah, it was jarring. Um, but, you know, obviously. You, you want to see the rest of the season. Mm-hmm. HBO doesn't really shoot many bricks. Yeah. And the cast looks great. You know, it's, it's awesome seeing Regina King as the lead. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you guys know about the Squid Rain, but that was... Yeah, well, that's what we were talking about on the way here. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I was not a big fan of the movie, and I read the graphic novel maybe three times. Mm-hmm. So 
when I was watching, I watched the episode once, I'm gonna watch it again, but watching the episode, I had no idea what was going on <laughs> at first. Like, I was like, what's going on with the squid rain? Yeah. I had no idea, but then he reminded me, he was like, oh, the squid showed up at the end of the, the, the book. And yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, I do slightly remember that. Yeah. But I didn't like the movie at all, so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I just don't want to see Jeremy Irons eat breakfast naked. You know, <laughs> that would see. Okay, <laughs> if there was one was moment that confused that. me was that whole thing, like, because his his like like his butler and his maid, like, were they robots or something? Because they had no idea what he was talking about most of the time. They're know. like, oh, somebody gave him a boomerang. To yeah, cut instead a of cake. like a knife. Like, yeah, yeah, that was very confusing. And, and he is supposed yeah, to be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, <laughs> he is they supposed to be. He's supposed to be uh, Ozymandias. Yeah, that, yeah. Okay. Is that what his name? Is that uh, how we say it? Ozzy, 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 I think yeah, it's Ozymandias. Yeah. Ozymandias, yeah. yeah. Okay. Correct us if we're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's supposed to be that character. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I liked. I was intrigued by the um, the preview of the next coming weeks. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the world building on it is incredible. Yeah. I think. Like, uh, I feel like we're because the last time we were in that world was in the '80s. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? Because that's when the comic came out. And so, like, them catching us up to everything that has happened. Like, mm -hmm. they've only had, like, two other presidents after the last one. And, like, Robert Redford's the president for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, but I, I find that, like, I, the world building was great because it, it brought me in and I, was, I wanted to know what was happening, especially mm -hmm. because I'm familiar with the source material, like, mm -hmm. the original book. I want to know, like, you know, I'm not, like, turned off by it. I actually want to know more and want to see where everybody's ended up kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know? I like the fact that they have um, they have like a, a documentary about the old heroes. Yeah, I yeah. saw. I noticed that. Yeah, that, that was funny. Yeah, that was good. Bring back Doctor Manhattan. It looks like they are. They yeah. teased them a few times in the the coming weeks. But Billy Crudup's Doctor Manhattan. Yeah, that'd be a big well, surprise. Uh, oh, that oh, actor. as that the yeah. actor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there was someone else they teased in that. Come on, you, yeah, said, you said, uh, what's his name? Night Owl? Night Owl. No, or yeah, Owl. They, um, Owl? yeah, no, Night Owl. Night Owl? Night Owl? Yeah, yeah they, okay. I saw that they teased him. It looked like they showed the back of him, and they, they like we were talking about they earlier, use they a use, ship. They yeah. use a ship, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's cool. Okay. I, like you said, HBO uh, doesn't really brick on for me, doesn't yeah. really yeah. brick on shows, so yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm gonna watch. I find you know what I found interesting about it and really intriguing to see how it kind of plays out in the show is um how the police force and superheroes are sort of like linked together mm -hmm. a little bit like they're kind of part of the same organization and right. like the police officers have to hide their faces kind of thing and yeah i and then the horseshacks are like uh what do you call rorschach Ho Ho rorschach oh my god horseshack horseshack Ro rorschach. rorschach i don't know what i was thinking about that's yeah a different, that's a di yeah that's a whole different thing yeah <laughs> it's on skin <laughs> Oh <laughs> the, the Rorschachs are like uh, kind of they're like an extremist. Group. Yeah, they're yeah. like exactly. They're yeah. like uh, like like yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Group. we're excited. Yeah, um, yeah, we're excited. We're you know, it was a it was a good first run. I, I think you guys should really rewatch it and kind of. No, oh, no, I'm definitely gonna yeah. rewatch it. Definitely gonna rewatch it. All right, let's move on. Uh, we actually haven't talked about this, and the last time we were here, we actually talked about how sad we were about this situation. But uh, oh, yeah. Spider Man is back. <laughs> yeah, he's back home. Can we get up a round of applause yeah. for that? Golf clap. I mean, I knew, I know, we knew yeah. that was gonna po possibly happen, but now it's like real. We back in business. <laughs> yeah, finally, Spider Man <laughs> in Marvel. Spider Man is. But back. you know, somehow he's still gonna end up in Venom too. Well, that's fine. I'm yeah. still not gonna see that, but <laughs> he's gonna be the Marvel movies. <laughs> oh man, he's yeah, gonna he's be. Back. He's still gonna be a part yeah. of Marvel, but yeah, yeah, still not gonna see Venom. Yeah. <laughs> But that's exciting. That's good to know. That's good to know that everything's sort of been worked out. And yeah, we were kind of bummed about it last time, but now it's very exciting news. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, the last time we talked about it was. It was here. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Yeah. Uh, so they said that the movie comes out when? It's supposed to, they're like fast tracking it too. I, th I didn't see the details. I don't remember. They, they like gave so happy yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me Let me pull it up. They like gave a date. It's like, it seems like the date that they gave it is going to be a part of phase four. Oh, well, that works. Yeah, so yeah. they're like fast tracking that movie. Um, it's kind of still interesting to see because the rights still have to go back to Sony at some point. So, mm -hmm. but I, I think what's going to happen is they're they're they, working it. I yeah, feel. The, yeah, the deal is that he's going to be in a. It's going to be gonna, uh, July sixteenth, twenty twenty one. Yeah, that's definitely so still two phase years four. from now. Yeah. Exactly. So right there, it's right next to Blade, right? Yeah. Blade is twenty twenty one. Yeah. I yeah. Think so. Yeah. So phase five, right? I think that comes out before Blade. I'm not sure because I don't think Blade actually has a date. I thought Blade was 2021. No, but I don't think it has. Oh, but I don't think it has a date. 
that has a date date. <laughs> like, but yeah. um, yeah, the the deal is that he's gonna be a part of one. No, there's no release date for Blade. For Blade, yeah, yeah. It just says 2021. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Uh, 2022. Oh, oh see. So he's yeah. definitely coming out before Blade. Um, but the deal is he's going to be a part of, of course, one more Spider-Man mm-hmm. movie with the Marvel Universe, and then a joint yeah uh, event Marvel movie. Do so. you do you think? And I know I know you're not gonna see it, but do you think that they're gonna mess around with some multiverse stuff to explain him going to the Venom Probably. universe? It would, that's the only, in my head, that's the only thing that would make yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You have to kind of give a nod to the multiverse. <sighs> All yeah. right. All right. I'm, just, I'm probably going to see Venom because it's a new director. So. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm going to get <laughs> uh, only because it's Andy Serkis. It's Andy Serkis. Andy Serkis. Andy Serkis. Yeah. I don't so think, think Andy Serkis <laughs> is going to like drop the ball. Yeah. You know? I know. If anything, he'll step up and be Carnage, which is like cool. No, I think not it's still going to be Woody, Woody Harrelson. Yeah. yeah. Not excited about that. Yeah. I like Go see Zombieland instead. Yeah. Zombieland. Exactly. Yeah. What do we think? So I guess we could say, what do we think is going to happen in. That knowing that what was from what happened in Spider-Man Two, what do we think is going to happen in Spider-Man? 3? I think the theory we've been talking about for ages, Sinister you know, Six? no, uh, Craven. Well, Craven, okay. part of Sinister Six, but Craven, because I mean, Spider-Man is now a kid on the run, mm-hmm. and who's better to hunt him down than the Craven? Craven, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. I think, yeah, I think it will be a mix of that and probably Sinister Six, because I feel like Sony has wanted to do a Sinister Six mm-hmm. movie for so long, yeah, where they almost tried to make a separate movie yeah. called Sinister Six, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, th- I think they're going to try and get that off, and yeah. I, I can work. Like they, they built the pieces to do Sinister Six within these other yeah. Spider-Man movies. They already got the Vulture. They already got the Shocker. They Scorpion. They, yeah, they already got Scorpion. Yeah. They already got a Mysterio kind of mm-hmm. uh, spoilers. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's four members. You just yeah. need two more. Yeah. Hmm. It's going to work. Yeah. I'm excited. Craven and either Dr. Octopus or, Doc Ock. or Green Goblin. It's time for Doc Ock again, or just Norman Osborn. He quick, doesn't have yeah. to quick, be Green Quick, wait, quick, Dreamcast. Who would you get? Who would you want as Doc Ock? Jeffrey Wright. Ooh, um, that's a good one, actually. <laughs> Ooh, I just that. Doc Ock. Uh, jeez, yeah, I haven't even thought about that. Just say uh, Jeffrey Wright. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah fine. That uh, works. Uh, I got mine. Uh, Javier Bardem. Who's that? Javier Bardem. Anton Chigurh from No, uh, no yeah. Country and Old Man. No oh, Country okay. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. I think he'd be. I yeah. think he'd. He would. I think he would bring that same style. That uh, what's his name? Um, Alfred Molina. Alfred Molina brought. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. See, I'm on my my flipping. Uh, yeah. I was like, yeah, let's let's, let's get a. Yeah. Let's get some flavor. <laughs> 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 cool. All right, let's uh, move on. Um, Let's talk about the. Should we talk about Feige? Is uh, now yeah. overseeing it's good Marvel. That he, it's good that he did it. You some, know, it's, some, it's good that he's the man. You know, you want a fan. You want someone like our. our it feels like, it feels like it's one of us leading Marvel now. Like somebody who cares about the source material. Yeah. Someone who's grown up with it and really loves it. And and so far, the man hasn't shot a brick. So. He got access to the full toy chest. Give it to him. Yeah. He's, one, he's earned it. One thing I will say about that. Uh, I mean, it's awesome, of course. Yeah. And Feige, we trust, mm-hmm. of course. But I also read today, like, that means Jeff Loeb is out. And I don't think Jeff Loeb did a terrible job at all. Like, Oh, he did the Netflix shows. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, that with that, with Feige taking control, like. Yeah, he didn't do a terrible job at all, but he still. Like, he gave his Daredevil. Iron Fist. He gave his Daredevil. <laughs> he also gave his Iron Fist. Yeah, but he gave his Daredevil. That's fine. And that was amazing. True. Yeah. That was probably the one of the yeah. best. One out of three is. You know, or three yeah. or four. I think. Yeah. I, I wasn't even mad at the first season of Jessica Jones. Jessica Amazing. Jones was good. Yeah. yeah. Jessica, yeah. So. Same. Cool. But then I also read. Um, there was also another article that came out. Um, I can't remember what site, but they said that. Uh, those two parts mm-hmm. that uh the actors that played Daredevil and Jessica Jones. Actor database. Oh, oh, oh! Um, <laughs> Chris, Kristen Ritter and uh, Charlie Cox. Thank you. Uh, they're uh. They're saying that it's not. It's possible that they could still be playing their parts. Oh yeah, oh, that I would have awesome. I mean, I, like that. well, then you got to give Luke. You got to go no, get no, Mike Coulter no, back. No, they said I, they might just. I, they haven't said anything about them, but I read that Kristen Ritter and Charlie Cox. It's possible that they could be. Well, yeah. I yeah, mean, I mean, and you gave us. They gave us one of the best kingpins with Vincent D'Onofrio. I would yeah, bring I, him. Yeah. Please now bring, bring him. him back. Bring him with Spider Man. Yeah, that I was about to say. Bring that. him with Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and Punisher. Yeah, yeah. That's that's fire. Yeah, they could recast. Course correction. I heard out uh, random, but they are. I heard they are recasting Inhumans. 
Good. They might reboot that. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll see. That's not on there. That they did talk about that. They said that. Uh, yeah. Eternal. The the Miss Marvel show is going to be a backdoor reboot for the Inhumans. Oh, tight. And then they that also said that Vin Diesel is rumored to play Black Man, Bolt, they re- <laughs> which is fine. Yeah. He's playing Groot, but this, like with Black Bolt, yeah. he doesn't have to Blood talk. Bloodshot too. I didn't even look at any of those articles, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm okay with him playing Black Bolt. Like he's a su- super silent character the whole time. He's, yeah, right. he'll just brood all the time. Yeah, just complete yeah, he won't have to say anything. the entire time. Dominic Toretto Family. in all leather. Family. <laughs> no, he doesn't have to say anything. He doesn't, I know. <laughs> As I said, he only has to brood. Uh, let's, uh, should we have some quick thoughts on, do- oh, so a couple weeks ago, we got the opportunity to go to the premiere of the new Eddie Murphy film, Dolomite Is My Name. Uh, we were all there. Uh, thanks, Julian. Um, no and um, do you guys have some quick thoughts on that film? Because it's almost like Eddie Murphy's comeback a little bit. Great film, honestly. It's a, it's a, it makes you want to go rent a camera and go. It's get inspiring. Like Eleven of your friends and yeah. shoot a movie, regardless of whoever tells you how shitty that movie might be. Mm-hmm. Like, go ahead and shoot it because somebody out there might like it. Mm-hmm. I might have just sparked the brain that's gonna. Oh God, I can't believe I just said that. Don't go shoot a movie. Uh, but, <laughs> but, but, uh, Too late. Yeah, it's it's great, especially growing up with with uh, Dolomite, mm-hmm. you know, and how comically bad it, it was. Yeah, it was good to see like the backstory, the making of, and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was really good. I, coming from, I never really knew anything about um, Dolomite. Mm-hmm. I knew of, I never what? seen any of the movies really. No, really, yeah. No, I just knew. Like, I've heard the phrase Dolomite, yeah. mm-hmm. but I never really knew what it was. But just watching the movie, I'm like, oh, so this kind of sparked hip-hop a little bit. And yeah. Yeah, I, I was amazed. And like you said, it was really inspiring. And mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. I really think Wesley Snipes killed it in that movie. He was hilarious. He was really funny. Yeah. He was really funny. And I kept thinking, I was like, what? have I ever seen Wesley Snipes do anything funny? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Too long Too long Fu, yeah. Too okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I couldn't think of any. I was like, have I ever seen Wesley Snipes in a comedy before? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I thought it was really good. And White Man Can't Jump. Didn't know didn't yeah. the comedy, right? Yeah. Was that was a comedy. Was that a comedy? Passenger 57 was also hilarious. I know it wasn't. <laughs> 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 it's like, all right, bro. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if White Man Can't Jump was a comedy. It was. Was it? Yeah. 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 He it was, was more of the comic relief, like, antagonist. Like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I thought it was great. I thought it was good. I think uh, Eddie Murphy uh, killed it and, like, you know, you give Eddie Murphy something really good to work with, and he'll just knock it out of the park. So I think like all this talk, you you said you just read something where like they might this movie might be considered in the, yeah Oscar you know, short list Oscar, Oscar buzz. Yeah. It's it, you know I best think well picture. deserved. You know? Wow. Yeah. Oh, best picture. Best really? picture. Yeah. yeah. You were in the car. <laughs> I, you know what? I was like doing work on my phone, so I probably was tuned out. But yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's really good. It's a good biopic. It's like a like Jason said, like uh, it's very inspiring, and I think like. The Academy Awards love movies about movies kind of mm-hmm. thing, so I think it has a good chance. Yeah, you know, yeah, to get up there. Cool. Uh, let's uh, before we mo- move on to the main topic, there is this one. There are some thoughts that I think uh, these guys had about certain <coughs> statements certain legendary directors had said. Um, there was there were, in the news it came out that Scorsese had a bit of criticism about the Marvel movies or the MCU movies, called them theme parks. Uh, And, you know, Francis Ford Coppola kind of uh, followed that and sort of supported it, and he actually went a little bit further and said that they were despicable. And so, obviously, it set the Internet aflame, and everybody now has an opinion about these guys, uh, these uh, legendary guys' words. So um, what did you guys think of what Scorsese and Coppola said about Well, let me start with Coppola. Um, (laughs) He's don't a, don't be too harsh. I'm not. He's a fan. He's a fan. <laughs> first of all, he was a part of my favorite, pretty much intellectual property almost ever made, which was Captain EO. Mm-hmm. So that was Steven Spiel, that was Steven Spielberg, Michael Jackson, and Francis Ford Coppola coming together mm-hmm. to create this 17 minute like space. One opera, of the most expensive like, music videos. It at was the time. Um, it was unreal. It was at Disneyland. It was like le- legendary. But then like you think of like you think of everything that he's done. Mm-hmm. No doubt about it. He's a legend. He's created some great cinema. Godfather, Apocalypse Now. But sir. You were a producer, executive producer on Jeepers Creepers 2. 
What are you saying? <laughs> what are you talking about? Because <laughs> you got that script and you read it. So at some point you were like, oh, this bus, oh, this, this thing, this winged thing is going to kill these kids. On the- yeah, let's do it. Green light it. Like, <laughs> come on, man. Like, you're just going to hate on it now because you haven't had anything that's like, God, he feels like one of those old rappers hating on Drake. You know, it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> like, like, wait, man, you had your time. But like, it's their time now. Like, and Scorsese, you know, I, I wasn't a, I don't know, I didn't think Wolf of Wall Street was 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 wow, was, was as amazing. You know, I, I his think last one to me was the, the, the Departed. So I love the Departed. Yeah. The, yeah. That was but then yeah, Casino is Casino is like Scorsese. Casino's <laughs> up there. But yeah. I think with Scorsese. So, um, what do you think? I'm gonna. You know what? So. I'm not gonna separate. I think I don't. I don't agree that superhero movies aren't cinema because I feel like, like I think I said this on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Cinema is art, mm-hmm. and art is like anything that moves you. Mm-hmm. And I've literally sat next to people who have no nothing, nothing about these movies and have watched them cry. So yeah. that I don't I like for them to call it just theme parks and. Uh, like, despicable despicable like it, yeah. is, it doesn't really make sense it like there's there's it's more than just special effects and so, there's actual heart and relatable yeah. things that happen to a movie behind all of the the spec the spectacle yeah you know? so no i don't i don't agree uh and also i think like they did the same thing with our parents when mm-hmm. You know, sci-fi was big. They were like, mm-hmm. "Well, f- what is this? This, yeah. isn't, this isn't cinema. This, yeah, our cinema is a uh, is a uh, what we have, which yeah. was uh, Gone with ca- the Wind, cowboy movies, and yeah. like yeah. westerns. And yeah. they yeah. were like, "Oh, this isn't cinema. Yeah. Like, their people, like their elders, were saying this wasn't cinema." Yeah. So yeah. I feel like it's a rotating thing. I think it's more of just yeah. it's kind of an elder thing, and yeah. maybe slightly, yeah. slightly out of touch. Also, it's probably I, smart. No, sorry to cut you, but it's probably yeah. smart because Scorsese does have a movie coming out, and we weren't really talking about The Irishman oh. until his name. You know, you, 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 there are teams now around these people, and they're probably just like, hey, how do you, you know, maybe mention something about, like, you know, those type of films. Yeah. And well, I mean, Scorsese is also part of Joker, too. Get a little bit of, oh, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Um, my thing was that, like, I actually, I hate when the internet sort of, like, takes one thing and runs with it and mm-hmm. completely just, like, goes on fire. So I wanted to kind of like read in and see what they said and mm-hmm. like kind of looking at it in the context of their careers and what they've said in the past. And, um, you know, first off, like with Coppola, Coppola is one of these guys who like came in a ho- He was part of that new Hollywood, you know, in the 70s where they wanted to, you know, <laughs> make their own films, you know, just tell, you know, told their own ways outside of the studio system. And I guess his statements were a little bit surprising to me because he was one of those guys that came in and wanted to reject the status quo. And so, like, so, I, so was Scorsese. Yeah, so was Scorsese. Yeah, yeah, they were part of that same they were generation. All part of that same yeah. group. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like, you know, I get what he's trying to say in a sense of like that, at least for the Marvel movies, like the the formula for Marvel movies has taken the TV aspect, meaning like, something created by a t- a big team of people and kind of churned out almost like TV series. And I guess they come from a generation where like you were on a tour. So you wrote it, you directed it, you were like the captain of the ship and you were dying with the ship if, you ne- if it needed to. And so like, I feel like they see it as these like mass produced things that uh, as amazing as they are, like we're looking at it differently. Like I, we grew up with a lot of these things and they make us feel these things. But I think that's kind of what he was looking at it in. Mm-hmm. Obviously, like, it was a poor choice of words, I think, because, like you said, like, it is cinema because it moves people. Um, and for some people, these are personal stories, right? Mm-hmm. But I guess they're looking at it in that kind of sense. With Scorsese, uh, I get what he was trying to say in a sense, because he used the word theme parks. And I think with, with the statement of, like, I took that word theme parks, and what does he mean by that? Uh, with a theme park, like there is not just you don't just go for one ride. You go for many different things, right? And with Marvel movies, you don't just go see one movie. You go see the movie expecting how it's going to link to the next movie. It's all part of this giant collective thing. And I think he's kind of going off of the fact of like some of these movies can't stand by themselves. Um, it, like I said, poor choice of words, but I think that's where he's coming from. The criticism of him of like him like not, you know 
respecting it, I think is a little misguided from some people because he's one of those people that has actively been trying to restore a lot of these old movies and trying to be like a champion of cinema and like shooting on film and stuff like that. So he's almost like a historian for film. So that's why I think it's a little misguided, some of the criticism he's getting for that. But I do agree with you guys. It's kind of like with Elder sort of like looking at this stuff and going like, oh, that's not good. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's a different perspective. Um, and like, again, it's surprising because they came up with Spielberg, who's exactly. the big, big budget guy, but big blockbuster the, guy, the, you know? The Spielberg also has talked about uh, Super Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's uh, enough airtime for these old heads. Let's move on. So <laughs> no, no, I, no, we're giving them too much airtime. They're getting too much off of our great It's a big topic, but though. It's, it's a big topic. But this is our genre. Of why we <laughs> well, that's why. Highlighting the haters. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think they're I don't think they're hating I just oh think Coppola calling something despicable that's uh if so if you if you gave somebody Co your Coppola is chilling in his winery despicable. in Italy like he 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 his he, IMDb he, photo looks salty <laughs> look at it pull it up <laughs> um yeah I mean I, I don't see like I said it's I think it's it's a little bit misguided poor choice of words and I feel like it's, yeah, it's old heads sort of kind of like not seeing eye to eye with yeah. what's new. It's um, a generational thing. Yeah, it's definitely generational. Exactly. Generational. Yeah. Um, but like leading into that, we were talking about Scorsese. Um, this leads into like our main topic, which is Joker, which is, I feel, chock full of Scorsese references. It's like if you put Taxi Driver and King of Comedy together. Mm -hmm. It was like a pure, like almost like... Um, uh, I want to say like a, a tribute to Scorsese films, mm -hmm. which I find ironic that he said some things about comic book films. Um, it's also produced by Scorsese. Did he produce it? I'm I thought I thought pretty he, sure he's a producer on the movie. If I'm not, I thought I thought he originally was, and then he kind of like signed off. Okay, maybe maybe I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll we'll we'll double yeah, check that. Um, what did you think of Joker? I thought it was good. You know, I thought the. Uh, I guess I should just let the cat out of the bag. That's not the Joker. Joaquin Phoenix is that's not the clown prince of crime okay. he is the brain he is the conduit that sparked the Joker I feel like I feel like all of that you know him doing that on the you know everything that he did that trickle down theory that you know maybe that person mm -hmm. was watching that show and was like oh here's a template like this is he did a little wrong like I have mm -hmm. my own way of doing it and you know that's what sparked the Joker because he didn't like the laugh, the laugh aside, like I guess that was the thing that made you liken it to to the Joker, like his oh his like his laughing, yeah, yeah. But any everything else wasn't what I read on the what I've grown up reading, mm -hmm. you know. So it was, and Todd Phillips already came out and said it. It wasn't like you know this isn't connected to yeah. the to the Batman folklore, yeah. although there are those Batman elements in it, yeah, which yeah. is really cool. You know, a lot of the callbacks. Why is Thomas Wayne such a jerk all the time? So like, I have I have a theory about that. I just want to say you're right. He uh, Martin Scorsese is not. Bradley a, Cooper was producer. Bradley Cooper yeah. is a producer yeah. on it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so well, let me kind of jump off with that. Um, I found I, I agree with you. I feel like it's a proto -joker, Joker, like not the full fledged joker but i do disagree that i feel like this because this was a one-off this is almost like an you said it was like an elseworlds mm -hmm. type of film where it's like you know an alternate reality for that um to jump off what you said about thomas wayne one thing i found interesting about this is that every batman film we've seen has always been from the point of view of batman everything that we see his history and everything is all from his point of view this is the first Batman set film or Batman universe set film that it's not from his point of view. So we're seeing it from somebody who's down in the gutter. And so in terms of like Thomas Wayne, because everything's been from Batman's point of view, Thomas Wayne is seen as this like larger than life, almost godlike figure, his father, right? We've never seen him how the public saw him. Batman's like, oh yeah, the people loved him and everything. But now we're finally seeing him as like what everybody saw him as this like rich guy who just like was trying to look like the good guy kind of thing. So I found, I like that interpretation in this film about Thomas Wayne. I thought it was a very interesting sort of take on it. So <clears throat> I'm going to just say what yeah, I, I thought about. Uh, yeah. I did like the movie. I thought yeah. it was shot amazing. And, yeah. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix was awesome in yeah. it. Yeah. Like uh, he did really well. But just slightly with Jason, I didn't think it was a great Joker movie. I thought it was mm -hmm. a great movie, but mm -hmm. it wasn't really really, to me, a great Joker movie. Going with what you were saying mm -hmm. about uh, the Thomas Wayne thing, I, so my interpretation of the movie was 
I kind of I kind of thought the whole movie wasn't real. Like I think mm. I felt like all of this the whole movie was kind of like in Joker's head kind of. Uh yeah, so okay. I, I like I felt like he was kind of a a poor source of information. Like, yeah. Un, uh, it's like a unreliable narrator. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's how I felt like I was like okay, this is yeah. him interpreting what he f- sees, yeah. but he's not really He's a uh, he's not the best narrator because for one he's off of meds yeah. and he's off his meds yeah. and you know he he sees like he, he's, he's delusional he, he's yeah delusional, exactly yeah. so yeah I liked it but I didn't like it as the Joker that and another thing I was hoping for is like the Joker the Joker is a character who you think he's crazy but he he literally is extremely smart like mm-hmm. he. He's calculating. He's very ca- everything he does is very calculated. Yeah. Yep. I was expecting some type of slight hints yeah. of him being calculated in this movie because I was like, yeah. I was like, oh, they're they're showing he he is the Joker a little yeah. bit. But I didn't see any calculate. Everything he did, it was kind of like, oh. It's- I feel like the only glimpse we got of that was when he was like right before he was gonna go onto the show when he was at home and trying to practice like. When he was trying to practice like how he was gonna come out mm-hmm. and like what he was gonna do and like with you know with the gun and stuff like that, that was the only time I ever saw him actually trying to plan anything. Um, everything just felt like it all happened to him and he was just reacting. Yeah, to it was, it. It, everything felt reactive. Yeah, yeah. But I do believe, yeah, yeah that the he was like, he planned on killing himself. Yeah, but he didn't. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I was like, it's not really a, the Joker to me. Yeah. I yeah. was expecting to see hints of the Joker, yeah. slight hints. Like, yeah. Some calculation, maybe off, maybe him being off his meds is what needed to happen. Yeah. And that's where he becomes like the yeah. Joker. Yeah. But that didn't really happen. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, the movie was great. Yeah, I, yeah it was a good movie. It yeah. was a good, like, that's, you know, I, the fact that you guys said it doesn't feel like a Joker movie, that's kind of what I felt. Mm-hmm. I felt it was like a great character, character study. And they just slapped the Joker logo on it. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Um, like I said, it wasn't bad. It was so well done. Like, my expectations weren't high or low. They was just like, I wanted to go in and just see what they had done. And mm-hmm. this is by far one of my favorite uh, interpretations of Gotham City. Like, yeah, it actually yeah, yeah. felt like a hellhole, but mm-hmm. with, like, in a realistic setting. Mm-hmm. Like, everything we, like, my second favorite is, like, obviously um, Tim Burton's. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that interpretation of Go- uh, Gotham is amazing. But this one felt gritty and real and just dirty and felt like oh yeah this city city looks like it's about to blow up and mm-hmm. needs like a hero what, um what was thomas wayne doing going to the movies while riots were happening <laughs> you, you still gotta go outside <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah well okay so let, let, let's talk about that that was i think the big sort of reveal in the middle of the movie where it was just that possibility that thomas wayne is the joker's father mm-hmm. Um, what did you guys think of that? What do you think of that? I didn't believe that at all. Yeah, okay. I didn't either. No, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't go for that. That was a, that was like a <clears throat> almost like a cheap misdirection. Mm-hmm. But I, you had to give the build up. They wanted the audience to kind of like vilify Thomas Wayne, so yeah. that kind of softens the blow for when you see him die at yeah. the end. Oh, sorry, spoilers. <laughs> you probably have seen spoilers. it by now. But <laughs> <laughs> Wayne's died. Like. If not. <laughs> 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 but uh Batman's yeah, parents yeah. were killed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you didn't know. I know, it was really tragic. Uh, <laughs> but um yeah, you have to you have to build that kind of anti you know, you have to build that in in the audience to make mm-hmm. you have to vilify Thomas Wayne in that sense, especially with the the bathroom scene, you know, how he's just Yeah, like, that was such a great scene. You know, so yeah. You you want him to be a rich billionaire ass, mm. you know, so the, it's justifiable that he died. And I didn't go for that at all because, mm-hmm. like, obviously, you read the source material. Mm-hmm. Like, I can we just get Thomas Wayne like Flashpoint? You know, can, oh. <laughs> can we finally get him like get him some justice? <laughs> uh, just just adding to this. Did, did you guys hear about the uh, the Jared Leto uh, thing that came out? Yeah, where he was where he was uh like. Uh, he found out that they were gonna make Joker and, and try to stop he it. Tried to stop it. Yeah, how would you try to stop it? <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> oh. I kind of feel for him though. That that that. Why I mean, do you feel for him? That man accepted that script, <laughs> and when they were putting those tattoos I mean, on like, and, and making like, him dress like that, it's kind of crazy. Like they hired you to do be an act, you know, to be a character, and then like they do, you know, they didn't do the best interpretation for you after you've done all this work, and then they're like, hey, you know what? We're gonna go make another one with another actor. 
Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, how There's, was he planning on stopping the movie? Yeah, I was. I was I actually know. read that. I, he was supposedly going to. He reached out to his manager, who knows the head of Warner. Okay. Because his late, I think his label is under Warner or mm -hmm. something like that, and they were gonna try to reach out to the CEO of Warner Brothers to try to stop it. It was like this whole. I didn't. I mean, I read a little bit of that article. It was a little interesting. Yeah. Who knows if it's real? Because it's a lot of like speculation. Yeah. yeah. So. Speculation. Mm -hmm. So. Just because his Joker was fresh out of Circus Circus in Las Vegas, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, that is a Vegas Joker. Yeah. Like I. Yeah. He's that not. is a missed opportunity, though. I. You know, it sucks that we couldn't get a chance to really see his interpretation fully of the Joker. Like a. I, I mean, on the little bits in Suicide, I yeah. was like. Oh, Maybe they but. did cut out a lot of the scenes. <laughs> yeah, they didn't really get much to do. But that, like, yeah. the whole uh, yeah. I know Jason. Like, yeah. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm keeping it close. Let, let's here. jump back. Let's know. let's keep it going with Joaquin. Let's <laughs> yeah. keep it going with Joaquin. Uh, how did you guys feel of that um, final final turn where it was like, yeah, he became. He was like, okay, he's the Joker. He's like gotten rid of everything that kept him sane. His mm -hmm. mother, the girl next door. Did she? Did he kill her? The mom? Yeah. 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 So he did. He yeah. killed the mom. Yeah. No, 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 not the mom. The oh, Zazzy the, Beats. The Zazzy Beats. No, he, she just, I think she just moved away. Yeah, I was he, confused. I thought I heard police and all that stuff I coming heard, in. Yeah, no, I heard them driving and they're yeah. the, by the window, but I wasn't sure if what he did. With I wonder did if it's left leave? up to interpretation. Yeah, yeah there's a lot so. of that stuff was left was up lot, to interpretation. Like up. the yeah. end, the very end is yeah. like kind of like left up in interpretation. We don't really know where he is at Arkham. Or is that like? Yeah, I feel like that's where he was the entire movie. He yeah, was, so he it, was might, it might have been yeah. like a manifest again. So like he he probably what I think is he probably did end up getting on the show, mm -hmm. doing what he did, and then everything else is him probably retelling that to the therapist. You know, saying like, so the guy who saw, I think I feel like some parts had to happen because you had to spark the brain. You know, mm -hmm. at least that's that was my like how I felt about it. Um, I was thinking about that ending, the thing he says at the very end when he's like, and she's like, I just thought of a joke. About and yeah, he's like, like what, what was the joke? And he's like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get, get it. it. I, Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I think that he's sort of piecing together things and he's realizing that if this all really happened, that him becoming the Joker caused Batman to be born, essentially. Mm -hmm. Like him being the Joker caused the chaos, which caused Batman's parents to die, which caused Batman to. Bruce Wayne to become Batman. And I think he was thinking about that and piecing things together and figuring out that Bruce Wayne is Batman. And that's why he's like, this is funny. Like th that, That's why he thought it was a joke. And that's what I think he's like, oh yeah, you wouldn't get it, how funny it is. I don't know, what did you think? I kind of feel that like you're onto something with that. Yeah. I, I feel like if this does connect in any way with future movies, mm -hmm. which I don't really think I, it I is, doubt it, yeah. I don't think it is. But if it does, I don't feel like he is the actual Joker, but he may have been the inspiration inspiration of whoever the next Joker was. You know, in the books right now, they, like two years ago in like Justice League, I forgot, I think it was, I forgot what, uh, I forgot what it was, but Batman sits in, in something and- Oh, he, it was a chair, right? I can't, yeah, yeah. I can't remember, I haven't read it in a while, mm -hmm. but he found finds out that there's three different Jokers. I remember that. It was a big deal, like, because there was, yeah, I remember he that. He finds out that there, there was always three Jokers, and so that yeah. maybe they're doing something like that. Maybe yeah. this wasn't the Joker that Batman actually yeah. ends up meeting yeah. in the new ones. Hmm. Ooh, perfect segue, as yeah. you mentioned, three different Jokers. <laughs> Why? Oh yeah, there has been three different jokers. Well, yeah, there's, there's been more than that. But yeah. yeah, there's been. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There's yeah. been three different jokers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, um, any? Let's. Uh, there was. I know we're gonna segue into that. Um, did you guys have any memorable moments that you f that you liked from that film? Anything that kind of stands out to you that you feel will be like? I mean, jo Joaquin. I feel like he was like in every shot of the movie. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's another reason why I think it, it was all coming from his point of yeah, view. Yeah, because he was in every he scene. He was literally in every scene. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I think my favorite scene in the movie was uh, uh, while he's dying his hair, and then like the the dude that gave him the gun comes in and mm -hmm. with the, the little The little guy. Little yeah, guy. yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking off that, I'm glad that the little guy got to go home, you know? But that's not Joker-esque either. <laughs> but, yeah, I, you know what? I think, it is, I think it was Joker-esque. I don't think so. Joker, like that's the thing. 
thinking back to like previous like things we've seen, like look at in the Dark Knight at the very beginning, like you think he puts a bomb in the guy's mouth. But he finds it funnier that it's like just smoke, oh, smoke. Okay. because he's scaring the shit out of him. Mm-hmm. And I feel like with this one, it was just very Joker-esque. He's like, oh, yeah, I killed this guy in front of you. I could possibly kill you, but I'm just going to let you go because it was funny to him. I think that's a very Joker-esque kind yeah, of thing. Maybe. Or you've always been nice to me, so I just can't justify it, murdering you. Right. I did like that. But I don't but think that that's not Joker-esque. Well, to that's me. what I'm well, this isn't the, kill. Again, if we're going back to what we're saying, we're now we're. Yeah. we're if he's not the Joker, then then that's, you know, we don't really have to. Yeah, but uh, no, what I'm saying is like uh, that, what you're saying, yeah. I feel as a Joker as him doing that, letting the little guy go because yeah. it's funny. Yeah. That uh, I think is. But him try, just saying, oh, you were always nice to me. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> like, that, that was, yeah, I've never seen I him. was like, nah, that's not Joker. Yeah. Joker would have been like, you're always nice to me. And then now you're going to Yeah, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Um, uh, anything else from that? Um, it's a, it's gonna be the Halloween costume of the year because we saw a lot of these. Oh yeah, cosplay. Be, yeah. It was a, a Halloween jokers. costume at LA Comic Con. Like yeah. every other every, person every, was yeah. a Joker. Oh, or, how, how, that's right. I didn't go to with you guys. How was LA Comic Con? It was chill. It was. Yeah. It feels like what what San Diego Comic Con used to be before it got huge. Mm-hmm. It's like still very like comic book esque and it's still very local kind of thing. Nice. Um, yeah, it was fun, but there was a lot of Jokers. It was a lot of Jokers. A lot of Deadpool's. A lot of Spider Man. What are you guys dressing up for for Halloween? Captain EO. Didn't you uh, do that already? No. Oh. I just got the leather suit. Okay. David? Uh, I don't know yet. It no. depends on what party I get invited to. That depends. Nice. Yeah. Um, what about you? Uh, I'm going to do Andre 3000 from the Hey Ya video. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> uh, are you getting a wig? Yes. Yeah. Solid. It's very good. I like it. It's actually solid. Um, so segue back and let's talk about what uh, Jason was about to segue into. Um, so what did you guys feel like now that we've seen multiple jokers like on screen? Oh, um, what did you guys want? Like, um, I don't even know what I was trying to say. Who do you guys feel is like the best joker that we've had? Heath uh, Ledger. Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. And, uh, <laughs> Jack Nicholson. Mark Hamill. I was going to say Heath Ledger or Mark Hamill. Well, Mark Hamill has I'm to just, be at the top. I'm just going with, uh, I, I, I kept it live action because that the Batman animated series lives on its own. If we're going to like, if we're going to say the best Batman, then we got to say it's Kevin Conroy. But that's what I'm trying to you say. Mean you can. You can. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> you I mean, we're, look, look, if, if I'm reading a comic book, the voice of Mark Hamill is what I read the Joker as. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that Heath Heath did something different, like just kind of everything that he did, like from the magic trick, like just the way he burned the money, like mm-hmm. the fact burning that, the money was great. The fact that my that man, that was literally the like he live action wise, of course, but like he literally did what was missing from he was calculated. You thought mm-hmm. he was this nut nutty dude who didn't mm-hmm. was just doing stuff just to yeah do stuff, but yeah. he was uh. He was doing it for a reason. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It was really calculated. Yeah. And, like, the reason that movie to me is so – I always, like, kind of like movies where it's like, dang, the bad guy kind of won. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's kind of interesting. The Joker really did win in that movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why it's kind of cool. Yeah. It was like the Empire Strikes Back exactly. of that trilogy. Exactly. Yeah. For real. Yeah. I, I said Jack Nicholson because, like, that was – that was our first interpretation of the Joker live yeah. action. Mm-hmm. And, like – it was, depar- it was a well, departure. It was a departure. I didn't watch. I didn't watch, watch Caesar. Batman. I didn't watch Caesar. I didn't really watch the Adam West. See, I, oh, okay. I grew. I grew up with I that. Watched that. Yeah, so. I grew up with that. I used, yeah. But I, that's I you watch. You watched. I, you watched it because of like the because you like Batman, but it wasn't something that you were like. I remember the Tim. Come on, man! Ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? That Joker like, was actually <laughs> scary. That Joker like, was scary to me. I remember like, as a kid, that Joker was really scary. Which to one? Me. Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. Yeah. I mean, Jack Nicholson is just kind of like he was a joke. scary dude. And the, yeah, and that's yeah. and that's the only Joker that was coming Jack. out grooving the Prince. There was just so many like cool elements about the Jack Nicholson Joker, and it was obviously in like Tim Burton. Like he, you talk about calculating, he organized the parade with so, balloons. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that 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 Joker could dance. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> to Prince. But obviously, you know, Mark Hamill take was, girls out to an art museum. Yeah, yeah. Mark Hamill's for sure up there. Mm-hmm. Like. I just didn't give it to 
I wanted to keep it live action because I knew you guys would go in. I, I, I was I would Mark Hamill. Yeah, makes sense to me. Um, who would you guys? Which Batman would you guys want to see go head to head with this Joaquin's Joker? Just very quickly. Teenage Batman from Gotham, because this Joaquin Phoenix is eighty eight pounds. <laughs> and the teenage, bath- bath- so the oh. teenage Batman yeah, from Gotham? Yeah, the, the kid. The baby oh, Batman. Moody, Moody oh, Baby Moody Batman. Ba- oh, Moody Baby Batman? Yeah, yeah. No, on the rooftop cool. in the cow. Because <laughs> otherwise, like, he's breaking his chest. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see this Joker? <laughs> well, well, it wasn't, I mean, Heath was skinny, too. He just always had the coat and stuff on. But the Jokers never fought Batman directly. That's the oh, whole point. No, there was a part where they were fighting in yeah, but Dark Knight. He, like, they were jumping Batman, and Joker came in and, like, kicked <laughs> the, him. Are you being the dogs? Yeah, the dog, <laughs> and then like kicked him and stuff. But like, you tell Heath had some some little bit of muscle mass to him. Jo- uh, Jack Nicholson had a little bit of had a little bit of muscle mass to him. Like they went out of their way to show you that this one <laughs> skipped a lot of meals. But <laughs> they did. So there was a like, lot of shirtless scenes in that. Yeah, yeah. I, and like, if you're thinking like Batman, who is a master at hand to hand combat, yeah. like, wouldn't you think he would feel bad for punching that dude? No, but but like. Even in the comic, look at him. Yeah, he's always been lanky. <laughs> he's, he's a, he's a Except lanky. for, is this, this, is this from Arkham? Yeah, this is Arkham. Yeah, Arkham. yeah, there's a whole... By the way, that's a great... That's yeah. A, if you haven't played this on PlayStation, they actually still have a sale for the entire... I think it's still gone for the entire Arkham series. It's like 10 bucks for all of the Arkham games. I definitely highly recommend that you purchase that. You can actually get them as like a playable character in some of them. And like, I, and I think it's... Can't you play as them in... Arkham Asylum. I think in Arkham Asylum you can play as him. I feel like you could play as him in another one too. Really? Yeah. I mean, that's what that's the fighting game. What's the name of the fighting game? Injustice. Injustice. He's yeah. in Mortal Kombat too. Mortal Kombat oh, yeah, yeah. 11. But he's a weird looking Joker. Yeah, yeah. he does. He is. Yeah. That's the only time you see him actually fight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, any other thoughts, guys? Joker. Um, Joker thoughts. Batman thoughts. What do you want to see? Do we want to see him in? We're gonna see him again. We're gonna you think so? The, we're gonna, yeah, uh, I mean, what, this, this, no, the Joker. Oh, yeah, I don't think, Joker. This, I think this was a one and done. Yeah, but I'm I, not okay. not Joaquin. But like, even though he's expressed that he would wouldn't mind playing I, I the can't character, even see, again, what are they gonna do after the get I, him out of that uh, insane asylum or, or something? And, I, I don't want to. Yeah, because it ended with him possibly killing that therapist. I don't, I think they should. This should be a one. Yeah, and I think done so type of thing. And then, of course, we're gonna see someone else play the Joker eventually. I don't think he's. Well, he's not going to be in there. They need to like take a break from Joker now. Like after this, like give us a yeah. break from Joker. You know who holds, you know who holds People the have really that? run that thing into the ground. By the way, jo- Joker. Yeah. They like, like I'm a little. T- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just they need to take a break from the Joker now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to see us, Batman. Yeah, give us Batman. <laughs> give us Batman. Give us some new villains. Yeah. I know we're getting Riddler again, and which is fine. We're oh yeah, Cat- we didn't even talk about yeah, that. We're getting Riddler. Yeah. We're getting Catwoman. Uh, we got the, we're getting a lot of them in this yeah. next one, right? Mm-hmm. Catwoman, yeah. uh, Two Face. Are we so, getting Two Face? Yeah, I didn't even see so that. I heard Two Face, and then uh, Penguin. 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 And there's Penguin, someone that's else. Right. There's someone else. There's someone else. There's someone else. We uh, said no, Firefly. Oh Fire, really? Yeah, Firefly's okay. supposed to be in this one too. But they haven't casted though. They haven't They've casted only casted uh, yeah. Riddler. And by the way, shout out to Zoe Kravitz for being Catwoman. I think yeah, I like that. One of us called it, right? Or I think you called it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah. yeah, me either. And Paul Dano as the Riddler. I think that's Paul Dano. Be that's a fantastic great cast. Great cast. I'm actually happy he's that actually crazy. we got him instead of Jonah Hill. Yeah, yeah. because Dano looks crazy. <laughs> like he yeah, looks crazy. For real, he does, and he's. Yeah, so I'm happy yeah. about that. Yeah, who 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 would you guys want as the new Two Face? Uh, but ha- he has to be the same age as Batman. Like they're kind of around yeah. the same yeah, age, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Zac Efron. Mm, I might be that little too young. Shia LaBeouf. What about uh? <laughs> no, what what about the dude who didn't get the role as Batman? Someone was else was up for Batman. This Batman. Uh, what's the dude who plays Beast? Oh, Nicholas Holt. Nicholas, Nicholas Holt. He was up for Batman. What about him as Two Face? That works. You know who I just thought about, but and I don't, so I don't know if this would happen. Why what about keep... Mike? Who? Mike. Mike. Michael B. Jordan as Two Face. He'd be an interesting Two Face. I'd rather him be resurrected as Killmonger. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Let's just wait until he's like. I feel like I could cast him as a different villain. Yeah. No. No. Two-Face. Let's just hope that they're one thing Namor's I do know, is, and I dude. love, I love this guy. But I heard rumor, <laughs> and I really hope it's not true. I love Seth Rogen. Oh yeah, but I don't want him as Penguin. <laughs> yeah, Seth Rogen as Two Face though. No, 
No? No. Okay. I don't want Seth Rogen in a Batman movie. <laughs> I like, can't get I, over his laugh. His laugh. Like, I don't want to see Penguin doing that. He already, he already, laugh. Laugh. He already <laughs> played the Green Hornet, so he's already played a superhero. I didn't see that movie. I didn't see it either. <laughs> like, I just don't want him to He's not going to do a Seth like, Rogen laugh. Has, yes, he, there's no way he can't. He's got his, his, somebody is, there's no they'll, way. Like, they'll do it in ADR. They'll there's redo no it. There's no way we can't hear. I, like, if, if he's the Penguin and he does the laugh, I'm going to be like, wow, I, I can't unsee Seth Rogen now. No, I don't think so. Do you, you know, did you see the second season of Chef Show? Yes, and he was He's just laughing. It. He was the laughing entire the entire time. time. Was, yeah. yeah. No. All right. Anything else, guys? Mm. Oh yeah, keep watching uh, DC Universe Titans. You guys are doing a <laughs> hell of a job, man. Like this Deathstroke is fucking awesome. Yeah, like Deathstroke is dope. Yo, he is catching bodies. Yeah. Like is. it does not matter who it is. You saw the new one? Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, thank you, Jason. I dig it. Yeah, I appreciate <laughs> yeah. it. For the last month. <laughs> Jason. I didn't know um, what I was going to do last week, and I kept checking back. <laughs> oh, man. Well, all right, then. So thank you once again. You can visit our site, cooltablepodcast.com. Uh, also find us on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, yeah, uh, and YouTube. Uh, and also find uh, follow Sideshow Collectibles on YouTube. Please. Thank you guys. Thank you, Thank you guys once yeah. again. Thank you guys again. Uh, once again, my name is David. You can find me at David Gallardo, at Julian Edwards, at Jason, and uh, follow at Cool Table Podcast on Instagram and at Cool Table Pod on Twitter. Comment. Yes, comment. Hit us up. DM us. Yeah. All right. Not don't DM me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Guys. Hey, did you like that video? Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Thanks for watching and don't forget to let your geek side show.